Yo, <laughs> my name's John Saunderson from Notting Hill Music. Thank you so much, man. It's always lovely to hang out with you when we're at Tao Yard or in Japan or wherever. You always bring uh, the life and soul to the party, as we all know. We just love it, man. Uh, I really thank you for coming in your support as well. Yeah, I'm really good, man. We're doing really well at the moment. Just with Little Mix, we had their touch single over Christmas, which was at number four. And their album, at number one, We've got the next couple of example singles coming out and Julian Peretta. So it's all going extremely well. Tell us a little bit about what you do and what your company does. What I do is I'm responsible really for all of our writers' welfare. Every writer that we have is passionate and they love what they do. My job is to help them to do co-writes, networking, get involved with projects that we've got going on. And what are your top three tips for emerging talent that want to make themselves more attractive to a publishing company or want to do it themselves? There's thousands and thousands of people trying to do what you do. So you've got to try and be a little bit different. The best bit of advice I can give you definitely is don't be a d <laughs> Turn up on time. When you get there, be patient with perhaps writers that are not quite as good as you. Please, you know, be a nice guy. And when you turn up for these things, you know, turn up with a smile. Be patient with other writers, as I say, because some of them not, might not be where you are at the moment or not had the experiences that you've had. If they write a line that you're not 100% sure of, Tell them it's rubbish, but tell them in a nice way, because that's really important. Listen, however big you get, whether you're writing with Beaver or whoever, never, ever forget the little guy that's just starting off in this industry. And that's why I do things like this and the conferences that I do. Give a little bit back and never, never forget that you were at where they were. How do you cut through the noise, you know? How do you just build and make people take you seriously, apart from not being a... Oh, let me just adjust my Sennheiser headphones. Yeah, quick plug. What you have to do is present yourself really well. Please make sure that you uh, present yourself properly. No A&R guy wants an old scruffy CV with a bit of writing scribbled on it, track one, two, three, four. That's no good to us. What they need to see is something like this. Look, every one of my writers has one of these things. It's called a one sheet. And what it does, it's got a photograph of you, name, bio. There's some links down the bottom here that actually links to your music. So when an A&R guy gets this, they automatically assume that your house is in order. Tell us about some of the, the artists and the composers that you've been working with. Yeah, I mean, we've worked with, uh, with Dizzy Rascal, Robbie Williams, Lethal Bizzle, you know, but mainly we kind of work with, with songwriters. That's, that's our business. That's what we do. I'll give you a perfect example. We've got a guy that I signed about four years ago. He was a, a, a dustbin man. He was a trash man for Hackney Council. He was still doing his job and doing his writing after he finished at, say, 11 o'clock in the morning. And we've kind of loved him, nurtured him. We took him to Japan and Korea. And more recently, we took him out to Nashville, New York, uh, and L.A. And he actually went down unbelievably. We finally convinced him that we would give him the same ways that he would earn. Now, that's more job security than I've got. So he was delighted with that. He stopped being a dustbin man. And now he's got cuts coming out in Germany, possibly the next Avicii single. He's got so much stuff coming out because he was able to dedicate his time fully to it. A lot of the people who are going to be watching this will have other jobs. But stick at that other job because you know what? That's a means of getting to further your dreams. Now he's writing with people who are writing with Justin Bieber. If you get in with the right publisher or the right manager who can guide your career, that's what a publisher should do, and that's what we do. So what, at this point, excites you about the, the business? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it, it's very, very difficult at the moment, especially for a publisher, because from a stream, a record label makes a lot more. And it will be addressed, because at the end of the day, if you don't have good songs, you're not going to have artists. So end of story. So that has to be addressed. And also, a, a little bit of advice as well. Don't just think about the UK. I mean, I met you in Tokyo many years ago. We've now had 30 number ones in Japan. We've now had 300 odd cuts in Japan. And they still sell CDs, which they don't do here. They sell this particular package, which is a box set, as you can see. They sell that for $90. Wow. Yeah, so that, I know I'm not a mathematician, but they tend to sell a million of those things. That's a lot of money. So look outside. Look at other ways of, of, of earning revenue. If you're a live artist, make sure that you get out there and do the little gigs for 50 quid. You know, Make sure and build that up. <laughs> Collaboration and networking. Those are the two words that will get you through. And I'll tell you how that happens. We do a networking night. And they're growing and growing and growing. And we literally are getting a 1,000 people there. It's the last Thursday of every month. That's the next one, 30th of, uh, of March. Um, you're all very, very welcome. Uh, we put on 
uh, 15 live acts. Big function on sound system. Loads of A&R people down there. We have managers, agents, lawyers. Anything or anybody that can enhance my writers' careers are at this event. So come down. It's free food. It's free drink for the first hour. And you'll love it. Brilliant. Look forward to seeing you down at the next Tile Yard event. You're very welcome, my friend.